Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, continuing the engine build. Today we're gonna install some valve seals and uh, show you how to do that with a special tool that we got on Amazon, link in the description, of course. So let's get started. For our 997 build, this is the part number here and this is what a valve seal looks like in case you didn't know which i didn't until now because i've never <laughs> messed with them before uh and we got these things also on amazon great little stands oh, to help you yeah, absolutely uh, work. have this raised up off the ground so i'll put a link to that as well and this is the valve seal kit handily labeled yep and one thing um super super important removing these valve seals on an old engine very difficult this tool grabs them and ticks them out don't try to do it any other way it's just not worth it this is the right tool all right very good and so this is what we're going to be using to install them so you're going to want one of these yep five millimeter with a so fundamentally it's this is the installation tool so you get the right measurement five millimeters is the right measurement and basically you just lube this up put the seal in has see it has a little um like a spring um a, a clamp on it uh lube it up put it in and it gets just tapped in that's the way it goes in all right so we're gonna flip this thing over because we want to stand it up and do it from the correct side mm -hmm. here's it's coffee all right this is I'll hold this one Ta -da. All right, beautiful. We are going to loop. Start with loop. the loop. Yep. Insert it into the tool. Make sure that it's nice and square. You can see from this side that it's uh, nice and square. And it just bottoms out. Beautiful. It's self um, aligning there. That's it. Very nice. We got to do that a, a million times or, you know, 24. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is a lot easier, actually. Standing on the other side? Yeah. And you can see it. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is right. And then we'll do a visual inspection because if, if they're not all there, we can always re-tap them. But yeah. can you imagine trying to do this without this tool? Oh, yeah. it, because is. part of it is the guide and part of it is how, how, the, um, how that section is made to sort of hold that cup without damaging it, mm -hmm. right? Because this is like metal and rubber and then you've got that ring seal on it. Mm -hmm. So again, for whatever it was, 19 bucks, 20 bucks, whatever, yeah. it, it totally makes sense to get it. Get the kit. And there are people that don't replace these. It's like, dude, it's rubber <laughs> moving at whatever, you know, X thousand RPMs per. And, and when you take them out, you really understand how bad they are. When you take them out, they're like plastic. Mm, like hardened plastic. Yeah. Brittle. All right, we stuck one valve in from the bottom, and uh, if you want to double check, you can try to move it around. There should be no play. If there is, something is bad, really nice. fix it. <laughs> Not sure how, but a tiny question. It's easy just for just. All right, I am the QA. <laughs> So this is with valve in. They look all the way seated. It looks good. I see no issues so far. I think you've passed this portion. This portion of the QA. All right, this is us from the future. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
ignore what you're about to see if uh, you have this particular 911. So with these Porsches, we have discovered that there are two types of head assemblies, essentially. Um, most of them, including my Boxsters, you just use a little flat washer like this that you can just drop right over that seal. And uh, why is that, Aaron? Because they use single springs. They have just a single spring that sits on top of them. And my guess is that this washer just prevents wear of your head. It's mm -hmm. like a replaceable piece. Yeah, it's, it's a, a, it looks like steel. Um, so that the aluminum does. Yep, for the intake and exhaust. Some mm -hmm. 911s, Boxsters, some Porsches do that. This one, however, we discovered for the intake valves, we have a double spring. And because of that double spring, there is a different kind of washer that sits on the bottom, this concave washer. And, well, you got to <laughs> put it on before you put the seals on. Because Dag on it. Because not fit over it. So... For our intakes, we are going to be carefully removing these, putting the washer on, and then reinstalling. Mm -hmm. You're gonna be so, as careful as we possibly can. If your engine has double springs for the intake, make sure you do this before installing. All right, we're not actually gonna remove one of the, or are we? I think we are, because right. <laughs> we got two bonus ones. All right, so it turns out we have two extra valve seals. So in this video, we're gonna go ahead and show you how to remove it too, since mm -hmm. we can, because removing them kind of ruins them. Yeah, you see they're, they're ribbed here for your pleasure. <laughs> um, but the most important thing is this, is this is the right size for it because it's really not easy to get them out otherwise. And these are gonna be relatively easy. We just installed them. Uh, well, they should be relatively easy. You go, um, you bottom out and then you go like one rib up you grab it, and then what you want to do on the old ones is twist it, and and you'll it'll be like crack, right? It'll uh, it'll come out, and then snaps the seal, and then you take it out, and then potentially that ruins it. So we're gonna install we're gonna install <laughs> a new one, but that that's it. That that's yeah. Since they're so new, it's oops, probably yeah. not ruined, but uh, yeah, I guess the old one it kind of probably puts yeah, put some pressure on it. I mean, we have an extra one, but generally speaking. The most important thing when you put it down is to twist it mm -hmm. because it breaks that lock that the that the inner rubber might have with with the seal and then work it out. Uh, some people spray it down with like WD-40, so some penetrating stuff, mild penetrating uh, fluid just to get them out. But it, it's not that easy and you don't want to ruin um, the sleeve. any of the sleeves or anything like that doing it. So uh, there you go. All right. Bonus content. See you guys. <laughs>